Hi, I'm Sam Albanese of the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. To start with, with today's weather, we have fire weather concerns from Bristol Bay into the Kuskokwim Valley to the central interior Tanana Valley, as well as the Copper River Basin to the Susitna Valley and down to the Kenai Peninsula. And that's primarily because of the warm, dry conditions that we've been experiencing. In southeast Alaska, a low west of the Queen Charlotte Islands pushed rain into the southern panhandle to Sitka with clouds a little bit further north. We had sunny conditions across the majority of the eastern interior right on down to the Bristol Bay coast and the Alaska Peninsula. High pressure over the Bering Sea resulted in some cloudy, foggy conditions in the Pribloff Islands and a low pressure system over the western Aleutian Islands was producing rain and windy conditions out there. By tonight, we'll see our low pressure system west of the Queen Charlotte Islands continue to spread rain into the southern Panhandle as well as the Sitka area with clouds to the north. Expect foggy conditions along the north Gulf Coast to Kodiak Island as well as into Cook Inlet. A low pressure system over the eastern Brooks Range with a cold front extending down along the Yukon River Valley will produce rain showers and along the River Valley with snow along the north slopes of the Brooks Range as well as the northwest Arctic coast as a trough was approaching that region. A low pressure system out in the western Aleutian Islands will continue to produce rain and windy conditions in that region. By Tuesday, we expect our low pressure system to be off the coast of southeast Alaska. Rain is expected to continue in the southern Panhandle and Sitka with cloudy conditions to the north. We expect generally sunny conditions along the north Gulf Coast, the Kenai Peninsula, as well as to southwestern Alaska and the Alaska Peninsula. A low pressure system out in the Bering Sea will produce rain in that region. We're going to continue to see some snow along the eastern Arctic coast to the eastern and central Brooks Range with up to two to four inches of snow possible there. By Wednesday, high pressure is going to be in the Gulf of Alaska as well as over much of the mainland. We're still going to have our low pressure system in the extreme western Bering Sea with a front extending down to the Western to central Aleutian Islands expect rain along that front in the western to central Aleutian Islands. Expect sunny conditions along the eastern Aleutians to the Alaska Peninsula to Bristol Bay on up into the interior with cloudy conditions along the Arctic coast down through the Bering Strait and the Yukon Delta region as well as cloudy conditions in southeast Alaska. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Sam Albanese of the National Weather Service.